Hello, my name is Dr. Arzu Ari. I am the first author of the paper titled Treating COPD Patients with Aerosolized Medications in the Era of COVID-19 that was published in the International Journal of Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Diseases. Since most hospitals were stressed with multiple admissions and experienced restricted healthcare resources in the era of COVID-19, treating patients with COPD at home became essential to minimize their hospital utilization. However, guidance on how to deliver aerosolized medications safely and effectively to this patient population treated at home is still lacking. In this paper, we provide some strategies and rationales for device and interface selection, delivery technique, and infection control for patients with COPD who are being treated at home in the era of COVID-19 and beyond. So let's get started. The risk of device contamination and viral transmission vary from device to device. Therefore, we suggest using inhalers over nebulizers because the risk of contamination during device preparation is lower with inhalers compared to jet nebulizers. When you use the PMDI for aerosol therapy, you should use it with a white holding chamber. Do not use the dry powder inhaler if the uh, patient cannot generate a high inspiratory flow rate needed to use the device effectively, or if the DPI causes airway irritation or cough during aerosol therapy. Of course, there are certain situations that inhalers cannot be used. For instance, sometimes patients cannot perform specific breathing techniques needed to use the inhalers effectively. In other situations, drug formulation is not available as inhalers or uh, there is a shortage of inhalers. In this case, we, use, uh, we need to use the nebulizers and we should prefer mesh nebulizers over jet nebulizers. Every time when you use the nebulizer, please place a filter to the outlet of the nebulizer to minimize the dispersion of exhaled aerosols to the environment and viral transmission. You see the pictures of those filters in this slide. Interface selection is as important as device selection. Prefer a mouthpiece over a face mask to reduce fugitively emitted aerosol uh, concentration compared to the face mask. Of course, infection control and prevention is essential during this pandemic. You need to train your patients and family members on infection control and prevention so that they can comply with home isolations and stay isolated in a well-ventilated room with open windows. Only one family member with good health should take care of the patient, and patients should uh, avoid using shared spaces and personal household items. If they have to use uh, shared spaces, they should uh, wear a face mask and stay at least one meter away from family members. During device preparation, they should wash their hands uh, and use proper aseptic technique to avoid contamination of aerosol devices and uh, medications. Uh, patients and caregivers should wear clean gloves before filling the nebulizer reservoir and administering aerosol therapy. Aerosol therapy should be administered in a location outside on a patio, porch, or in a garage. Uh, patients should use uh, tissues during cough and sneeze and discard them in a trash can placed in the patient's room and always clean the nebulizer uh, based on the manufacturer's guidelines. 